Sugar Ray Leonard came in at 146, just a pound under the 147. Leonard. Michigan. Lateral movement, Tim, side to side, not letting Tommy Hearns get set at all. Hearns a little short with this combination. There's Leonard landing the first good cut. Left hook by Hearn. Fate with that, you make the faint effect. If you have to land a few as he did then, then the faint is more. Even the crowd here at Las Vegas are waiting with. Well, a little extra punching after the bell there. And again, uh, Ray Leonard. But Ray has to. Leonard's avenging of that defeat. Still has him high on the popularity polls. Now Ray is fainting with his right hand, Tim, showboating a little bit. But you know, the way the way Leonard is jabbing, he's reaching up and starts keeping his weight over his feet when he jabs. Good right hand from Hearns behind his left jab. And Tommy has that left hand right down around his knee, Tim. He's inviting Ray Leonard to throw that right hand over the... There, he's tried to do it right there. Good left hook by... Tim, you see the way Sugar Ray Leonard is jabbing? He's completely off balance. His weight is not over his feet, so he can't follow it with any kind of a combination. Leonard back using his footwork. Here's a big left hand from Hearns. Solid left hook scored by the taller Tommy Hearns. Try to follow. He starts to try to get over, and then he just changes his mind. There's a right hand thrown by Leonard, and Hearns count. Leonard scoring a left and a right. But Hearns again countering effectively. Leonard picking up his pace, but he missed with an overhand right and a left behind it. Counter right hand from Hearns, but Leonard forcing him back to the ropes. Now they go toe-to-toe -to -toe for the first time. Leonard is really overworking that right hand. Good right hand by Tommy Hearns. Good left hook to the body. That right hand from Hearns got Leonard's attention. Backed him up some. Now Hearns digging to the body, and Leonard fires back. The right hand from Leonard at the bell. Best round of the fight so far. Let's take a look at the action. They were telling Sugar Ray, downstairs, downstairs, but it looks to me like he's going upstairs. That left jab that he's going to the body, a good body punch. He hasn't been working the body as he should be. It's the way championship at stake. The flicking left jab of Thomas Hearns. Both the, boxers flat. Occasion. It's, there it is again. It sets up other punches, Tim. Now, there was a good straight right hand by Sugar Ray, even though it missed. So that he was able to throw that right hand. Leonard blocking the... Right hand counter by Hearns. Sugar Ray Leonard, Tim. Finished off the combination. Right by Leonard, and then two shots right back from Tommy Hearns. Slowing the attack from Sugar Ray. Tim, they may have hurt Sugar Ray Leonard. Under the 15-second mark to go. Hearn sensing an advantage here, trying to press it. Final seconds of the fourth. Right landed by Hearn. And an uppercut underneath. Again, Leonard scoring. Leonard. Hearns short with the right on that. Well, Ray is... There's a good right hand by Ray Leonard. Threw it over that. Showboating with really. Anybody can do that, he's saying to Ray Leonard right now. And then meanwhile, Tommy Hearns' jab is scoring the points. Hearns with a lot of confidence right now. That's drawing the crowd into this. Final seconds, round five. Leonard misses with a right, but there's a left. A left hand that wobbles Tommy Hearns and backs him up to the corner. Leonard to the attack. Under a minute to go on the sixth. Hearns is in trouble, Gil. Well, he finally let himself get that left hook off. Then threw the right hand and came back with the hook instead of dragging himself back out. And he nailed Tommy Hearns right on the chin. And Hearns is in trouble right now. And Ray is a good finisher. We know that. First time in the fight that Leonard has been able to penetrate against Tommy Hearns. Another left by, landed by Leonard. And a left to the body by Sugar Ray, really picking up the pace. And a left to the chin. Hearns punching back, but he missed. 
Leonard keeps the pressure on. Under 20 seconds we go. Now it's in Ray Leonard's territory. He's able to get inside on Tommy Hearns now and punch with him. Another combination landed by Leonard. Final seconds of round six. Hearns back to the ropes at the bell. Well, we heard what Manny Stewart told Tommy Hearns. He says, keep that right hand up or you'll get hit on the chin with a left hook. And there's that big left hook that hit him right on the chin, wobbled him, and maybe turned this fight around. You know, Ray Leonard is a good finisher. When he gets a guy in trouble, he can really do a job. And he senses that he has Tommy Hearns in trouble now, and he'll start taking some chances. There's that left hook again, and you can... ...to Ray Leonard. And Leonard right there in front of him now, Gil. Well, Tim, you... Ray senses that he has Tommy Hearns hurt, and he knows he can hurt him. No more bouncing around with Sugar Ray Leonard. Now he's planting himself and... Well, Tim, you have to understand that Tommy Hearns can get you out with one punch at any time, so Ray is taking a chance, but I think that's what he's going to have to do to win this fight. Opening minute of round five. Leonard bangs to the body. Solid left hook and a left hand upstairs. He changed his style. Hearns got a right hand through. Leonard stayed right there. He bangs to the body again. Scored by Leonard. That hurt Hearns. Hearns backing up. Leonard on the attack again, but Hearns fires back. This is a completely different Sugar Ray Leonard. Those left hooks to the body are the key for Sugar Ray. Though. They set up everything else, Tim. Good combination landed by Leonard. That brings the crowd alive. A lot of Leonard fans here, as you might expect. Hearns not countering as he was earlier. Hearns is going to have to get a second win from somewhere, Tim. Looks like a beaten fighter right now. Look at Tom, look at short for that left hand to the head. And a right hand by Leonard drives him back again to the corner. Leonard, a combination at the bell. And Hearns very shaky. Going back to his corner, he can barely stand up. Let's listen to Emmanuel Stewart in Hearns' corner. He's got to be plenty worse. The left landed by Tommy Hearns boxed when he was an amateur, Tim. He wasn't known as a big puncher in the amateurs, but he was a beautiful stalking Tommy Hearns. He had him in trouble. Yeah, a big right hand. Must have heard me, Tim, because I was going to say... Hearns' attention with that. Under a minute to go. And now Tommy's trying that side-to-side -side movement. But no question it's moving away from him. Leonard bangs a good left hook to the body. And a right back. In the ebb and flow of this bout. Big early lead. Well, Ray is stalking, but not punching. Down and blocked that left hook of Ray Leonard. Reaching the 22nd mark remaining, and a left landed by Hearns again. Thomas Hearns using his boxing ability effectively here in the ninth round, as we see it. His handily won this night. Going points. He's on a perimeter now. He's boxing around, and Ray again is doing. Going that left jab to the body, and he reaches him. There it is again. Tommy Hearns, a hit on the judges' scorecards, lands a good right hand. Nice combination. He's putting his punches together. Renewed. You know, right hand landed by Hearns. Tim uh, Hearns was so, good, so, but he was so successful. He won those rounds boxing. Now he's back bombing again. And he just scored another good combination. Leonard. The left landed by Leonard, but right back comes Hearns with a combination. Good right hand lead by Hearns. And a left hook behind. There's that good right hand to the body by Tommy Hearns. I like that as a setup point. There it is again. Victories. He's been 10 rounds. Now Leonard finally gets through and lands an... Right hand behind the jab. Lance 
there's ever been. That came against Randy Shields earlier this year. Leonard finding a little range with the left jab now. And a right hand. Right hand staggers Tommy Hearns. Hearns in trouble again. Leonard all over him. Leonard pounding away with combinations inside. Hearns trying to grab him. Can't do it. Hearns driven into the ropes. Leonard pounds him right through the ropes. Davy Pearl, he's not counting. He's not counting. Hearns evidently pushed through there. Hearns getting up, shaking his head like he's not hurt, but he's in all kinds of trouble. Leonard jumps on him again. Well, Tim, we know what a great finisher Ray Leonard is. He must have thrown a thousand punches. All the punches he didn't throw in those last four rounds, he saved up. And boy, did he let him go. Hearns lunging in desperation, landed a right hand that snapped back the head of Leonard. Leonard knows he needs a knockout to win this championship. Hearns backing up. Leonard after him. And still wobbly legged. You can see Tommy Hearns having difficulty staying upright. A left hand scored by Leonard and a right behind it. Hearns battered around the ring. Won't go down. What a flurry by Sugar Ray Leonard. And again, Hearns trying to hold on, but he can't get a grip on him. A right hand by Leonard. And a left. Missing with the right as Hearn sprawls through the ropes. Davy Pearl this time counting, Gil. Yes, he did count, Tim, because if the ropes hold you up when you're going to fall, it's counted as a knockdown. And there's the bell ending round 13. Round number 14, and Leonard comes quickly off the stool and throws a right hand to the body of Thomas Hearn. He's bouncing around. You can just see the shake in his legs. And you know, Tim, when the guys have never been on the canvas before, you never know how they're going to react when they get up. Punch. There he is, banging to the body again. Beautiful. Here does. Big right hand. Burns staggers along the ropes. Let it after him. He's in all kinds of trouble again. Gil, how come the Hearns doesn't grab onto Leonard here? Tim, he's not trying to grab. He's never been in this position before. He doesn't know how to grab. He's always had the other guy in that position. Leonard now going to the head and down to the body, banging away at Hearns, who hasn't fired a punch back. There he tries a combination, got the left hand, another left, but Leonard staying right there, measuring his spots, pounding to the body, and a right to the head. And Davy Pearl steps in, that's it! A 14th round knockout victory for Sugar Ray Leonard coming from behind to claim the undisputed welterweight championship of the world.